Hi guys, this is Shedwas once again for you. I am working as an Ashtar Professor in Pyra College PG courses. Today, I am going to discuss a new topic that is graphical method for the given LP. Here we have a, the LP that is a linear programming problem in the form of maximum of z equal to 2x1 plus 4x2. Subject constraints x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 5, x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 4 with non equal restrictions x1 comma x2 greater than or equal to 0. So, with the help of a graphical method, we are going to find the optimum solution for the given LPP. The, the solution is as follows. So, okay, first we have to change this inequalities into equalities. So, that is x1 plus 2x2 equal to 5. This is the equation 1. And we have one more equation, x1 plus x2 equal to 4, this is the equation 2. Now, we have to solve this. So, I am going to put x1 equal to 0 here. Put x equal to, x1 equal to 0 in equation 1. If I put x1 equal to 0, that is 0 plus 2x2 equal to 5, obviously. So, 2x2 equal to 5, that is x2 equal to 5 by 2, that equal to 2.5. So, we got a point that is x1 equal to 0, if we put x equal to 0, we got x equal to 2.5 and as there is a point A that is 0 comma 2.5. If I put x equal to 0 here, put x equal to 0 in equation 1. If I put x2 equal to 0 here, obviously x1 plus 0 equal to 5, obviously x1 equal to 5. So that is we have one more point B, x1 is 1, x2 is 0. We got two points for the first equation. This is all about. Now we will move on to the second equation that is for this put x1 equal to 0 in equation 2. If I put x1 equal to 0 in equation 2, obviously we got x2 equal to 4, we have a point C that is 0 comma 4. If I put x1 take a pattern that is x2 equal to 0 in equation 2, similarly we got x1 plus 0 equal to 4, obviously x1 equal to 4. Hence we have one more point that is D. 4 comma 0. So A B points are for the first equation and C B points are for the second equation. Now we have to take some sort of graph to plot all the points. Now take some sort of graph here that is x1 and x2. This is x2 and this is x1. So if you observe the x1 values obviously we have 0 5, 0 and for maximum is 5, obviously I am taking the scale of origin 2, 3, 4 and 5 in the same way that is again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I am plotting the first point that is x1 is 0, x2 is 2.5, x1 is 0, x2 is 2.5, that is 2.5 is in between 2 and 3. For the point B, x1 is 5, x2 is 0, that is x1 is 5, x2 is 0 like this is. This is all about the first equation. Obviously, if you answer the question all of you, the first equation is in the form of less than or equal type. Less than or equal type means towards the origin. This is all about the towards the origin. Towards the origin 0, 0 of you. If it is rather than prototype, it is away from the origin, we have to plot the region. So this is all the first equation line. And we have one more, that is x1 is 0, x2 is 4, x1 is 0, x2 is 4. And we have a point B, that is x1 is 4 and x2 is 0. And also I am going to plot this. This is also in the form of Less than or like obviously towards the origin. If I am going to plot the towards the origin, there is some sort of a common region is called a feasible region. If I am going to draw this the, re, the region, the common area for these two lines will be 
the common area will be like this only this cone area this is the common region for these two lines this line is also towards the origin this line also towards the origin the common region will be treated as feasible region this is the feasible region for these two this is the common point here of you we have a point here 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 and here so we have a point this all about a zero zero the origin for example let us assume that this is the point a x1 is 4 x2 we don't know that is zero here we have a point b that is uh, th this point is lying between 2 and 3 obviously 2.5 that is x1 and this is exactly around 1 point something again i am making 1.5 with a loss of generality and also this this point this point is x1 is 0 and x2 is 2 and 3 that is 2.5 now we have to take some sort of a table and plot all the points and we will get a uh, optimal solution for this given np now we are going to represent a table for this so there is a points we have a maximum of z what is the maximum of z here that is 2x1 plus 4x2 and a value so there is all about some sort of a table here for us so we have points so that is 0 0 the origin 0 0 so this is all about the points all of you this is all about one point here this is origin 0 0 and we have a point a that is a uh, 4 comma 0 The feasible region points we have plot here, and a point B that is 2.5 comma 1.5, and one more we have C, we have 0 comma 2.5. Now I am going to substitute all the values in the given object function. So obviously x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0, x1 is 0, x2 is 0. The 2 into 0 plus 4 into 0 obviously the value should be 0. Now I am going to substitute the value of x1 is 4 into 2 into 4 into 2. Plus four into zero, that is four to the eight plus zero, obviously eight, and that is two into two point five plus four into one point five, that is two into two point five, obviously five plus six, obviously the total value is eleven, and after that finally we got two into zero plus four into two point five, that is the value is zero. Plus ten, obviously ten. Since the given object function in the form of maximization, so we have to consider the maximum value that is eleven. Hence, the value of x one is two point five and the value of x two is one point five, and the maximum of z is eleven. A company could make a profit of eleven rupees if the value of x one is two point five for the product A and one point five for product B. to obtain a maximize the profit by using a graphical method thanks a lot for watching this video thank you